Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about five different types of sake cups. We're featuring this sake today. This is Takizawa Shuzo Renga Zukuri from Saitama. And our first cup is going to be the famous Masu. You know, a wooden cup. Mm, smells like the day we bought it. Right. So this is very hot to drink. It's a square, um, thick rimmed cup. And I would go from the corner so I won't spill any. Yeah, a lot of people and myself sometimes once you start drinking will tend to just go and it you'll wear it. So <laughs> it's it's actually advisable and they won't tell you but it's advisable to drink from the corner. And this has a very strong smell. The cedar has a very strong smell. Mm. And it sometimes enhances the, the mm. fragrance of the sake. Sometimes mm. it in interferes with the sake. Cheers. How's it going with this one? Can we try? Mm. Yeah, it's good. That's good sake. And it's good in the masu. So we're going to see what it tastes like in other... Types, of, types of, cups. of cups. Okay. All right. When you go to an izakaya in Japan, which is a casual restaurant mm. that has different kinds of um, alcoholic drinks and food, mm. that's an izakaya, mm. they typically serve sake in a glass in the box. So it looks like this. So typically it's like this. And this is how they serve sake. Please be generous. Whoa, whoa. So the sake overflows and the masu catches it. Mm. And it performs, there is a performance of generosity. Yeah, they're kind of saying like, uh, they're not being stingy, they're welcoming you to the izakaya, and they're saying, yeah, we want to give you a little extra, kind of like on the house, kind of like. And so let me show you how you would drink it. You wouldn't typically just take the cup out normally while it's full like it is. You'll just sip. So you'll normally just bend down as the cup stays on the table. You don't want to pick it up. We usually would just generally keep it down as it is. And when you get to a point where your cup or your glass becomes, well, if your glass becomes empty, let's say you're a super drinker, you would then just take what's left in the cup. So you're almost getting like a little bit of an extra shot, as you can see. So that's kind of the generosity of the izakaya, which is nice. So that's a typical glass to to drink sake in yeah a lot of izakayas will uh they'll have different cups some will actually bring like a basket and you'll pick uh your own glass but generally they'll already have one picked so the next cup is ah. this stoneware cup that's a little rough and mm. um you can serve hot sake in this too so you have a, it's more of a larger, the, the vessel is easier to smell, yeah? I don't know if that's the right word, but anyway. Yeah, so. So the next is porcelain traditional cup that mm. has uh, blue rings at the bottom. Why do they have those at the bottom? Hmm, I wonder. Why? Well, when you pour the sake in, and I'll try to show you, and I don't know if I'll be able to, but the rings just offer more clarity to being able to see the sake. Not sure if that works, but it's more for... Uh, checking the color the of color, the sake. Yeah, checking the color. Uh, some sake is more clear, some is more on a yellowish side. This is very, very clear. Mm. Just a tinge of yellowish. It's a little bit yellow, a tiny bit of yellow which you couldn't tell from this cup. Right. And this one, you could tell if you're holding it up to the light, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't necessarily need the blue uh, 
the blue line, the blue pattern. But you could see if you're in a well lit izakaya, which sometimes you won't be. It's usually quite dark. Okay, so this is how you see the color of the sake. <laughs> All right, so these days people like to drink sake out of wine glasses. This I, I've, I like only because, and please, a little bit, only because you're able to, just like wine, you can aerate it. The more you aerate it, it now changes the flavor. And also it retains the fragrance within the glass and you can enjoy it mm. just as you would enjoy wine. Mm. Mm. That's a really good sake, by the way. It's really good. Mm. Not bad, yeah. So typically, Daiginjo and Ginjo that has a lot of fragrance, um, they recommend using wine glasses to, to um, smell the fragrance and also taste it. But yeah, I, I mean, I prefer drinking it out of here if it's a very uh, simpler, like, table sake mm. which doesn't have much fragrance so mm. the cedar enhances that um, or compensates the, the fragrance yeah so mentioning lacquerware that's another material that's used for sake cups which we don't have we here don't have, yeah. um, also metal like copper pewter they have um, they make sake mm. cups out of those mm. Um, if you like that kind of cups, mm. you should go ahead and try the difference. Yeah. Um, that difference that, that different types of cups would bring with the same sake. Yeah, it's amazing how you can have one sake and four or five different cups, and it will taste different from each cup, only because some has less air, some has more. You've got texture of the cup. You've mm -hmm. got, if you've got more like the, the masu, which is made of cedar, so you're gonna get the smell. You're gonna get that's gonna enhance or distract the flavor, depending what kind of sake. Glasses we covered today um, are more of the general ones that you'll see when you go out to an izakaya uh, in Japan. So we've covered all the cups. What would be your preference? What would you? I mean, depending on the izakaya and probably the sake, but what would be your your most go-to cup? Okay, if I were to drink uh, my favorite sake, which is more fragrant type, then I'd go for this. But if the izakaya doesn't carry something like that, then I'd go for hot sake in a porcelain cup. Yeah, that works. I would, I would probably do the same porcelain cup if it's a lower grade or the masu if they have it. Or I might just go with, this, with a standard cup uh, glass or um, the porcelain is fine. Excellent. So we've broken down our five different cups and with one sake. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can try these five cups with any type, a, a ginjo or a, any, any, any type of sake you buy. An experiment, yeah. You can buy a bottle and bring it home and lay out all the cups you have and um, find out the different taste that they might bring. Wouldn't that be interesting, like a coffee cup? We didn't do that today, but um, yeah, again, I mean, I, I think it really just depends on, on its personal preference, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, experimenting. Yeah. All right. So on that note, uh, if you guys like what you watch, you like our videos, we've got a couple other ones in the making coming up soon. Uh, look at the links below. And please follow us. Yeah, on follow us on YouTube. Uh, hit the subscribe button, find us on Instagram, uh, Facebook. We'll put all the links below. And uh, yeah, great. And good luck experimenting with your five cups. Cheers. Cheers.